welcome back to my youtube channel it's john here so today i'm with you because um we're going to be making up our embroidered tea towel today so craftosity did get in touch with me and um, they are a monthly subscription service and each month you get a project and what's really cool about these boxes is you get everything in them that you need um so they have very kindly given me a coupon code and so it's sst 2020 and that gives you 20 percent off your first box so when you um, sign up um, I have reviewed one of their boxes before just before Christmas which was a clock which was really really fun and I really really enjoyed it um, so I've got a feeling I'm going to enjoy doing this one as well so we did get everything in here that we needed so let me just move this box out of the way um, and let me remind you what we got um, so we've got an our embroidery hoop so this is um the embroidered hoop which um is really really cool so yeah we've got that um we've got our cotton tea towel so this is our tea towel and it is obviously tea towel size and actually feels lovely really really nice so we have that and my screens there we go um we also got um some dark gray embroidery thread we got some mid blue embroidery thread oh, look at that my daughter's home can you tell her hair is super super long um some light blue embroidery thread and some dusky pink embroidery thread we also get our embroidery needle and um we also get our template as well so this is the template that we're going to be using so key tips let's see what the key there is a video uh, and it shows you what to do um so you can actually go on and, and watch the video um so the key tips for this is um the key to the success of this craft is all in the tension of the fabric try and keep the tea towel tight like a drum in the hoop at all times make your si stitches slowly and internationally i think or intentionally yeah slowly and intentionally they don't all have to be perfect but if you make all your stitches roughly the same size the tension and tension the end result will be much more professional take your time and enjoy the simple process of stitching once you get into the rhythm this craft can be very very meditative meditative yeah I think that's what I said. Do apologize, I do have dyslexia, so please do bear with me. Uh, this craft kit is not a toy and not designed for use for children. So, and then when we open it up, we have lots and lots. So, part one is the clouds. So, um, let's have a look. It says, place the template under the bottom right hand corner of the tea towel with. It facing right side up trace around the clouds using your pencil to make a series of dots not a solid line cool um, and screw your hoop to separate in two parts and so this is where we're going to be placing it on so let's let's sort the template out first so we want it the right way and we want it in the bottom right hand corner so I'm just going to line that up um, I'm hoping you can see so there you go you can just as I see underneath there um, so I'm just going to grab my pencil and we are to make a series of dots around everything so like so now do you know what would be really handy is a light box I do actually have a light box which I'm thinking I might go and grab and um, just because I've got lights glaring around me um so just going around um because we do just double checking as well where i'm going like so and then what does it say after you've done this oh we're to put it in and then place the hoop oh, and then that's when we're going to be doing our clouds right okay so it's just going all the way around so what I'm going to do because I am just tracing this um, and putting dot like little dots on our uh, tea towel so what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to go off camera just because I think this bit can be quite, uh, it might be a little bit boring um, to watch me just tracing around it. So I'll go off camera, I'll do this. Um, I, I think I'll do like trace everything so I know what I'm doing and then um, I'll come back. So um, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so I've done that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that on my um, embroidery hoop. So put the middle underneath it and then I have the top piece. Um, and I'm just wanting to get over that first cloud. I'm just going to push that down and then that should tighten it. And then we're just going to tighten up this bit because we need to keep this nice and taut. So that is this bit although there we go right okay so now that i've got that in and i've got my design all done let's see what else we are to do so um let's have a look we've done that uh, so cut an arm's length of mid blue thread and separate out two strands by pulling out one strand at a time. Knot these two strands together at one end and thread the other ends through the needle. So let's do that. So what colour was that? Uh, mid blue. So this is our mid blue. And I know that you have to split these up because um, yeah, my uh, friend um, did tell me how to do it so arm's length so about there so let's just cut that um, and put that off to one side and then we want two strands taking out so set by doing one at a time um, I think I've grabbed two actually so that's probably not the best way to do it um, come on Oh, how many have I got? Right, I'm right. Oh, look at this. This is because I'm not doing it correctly. Let's try this again. Because I know that I can do it. There, There's one. So let's pull that one out. There we go. So there's one. And oh, there's our second one. So as long as you definitely pull them out one at a time. I think I grabbed two by accident. Um, when I did that then they come out perfectly well so I'm just going to pop that over there and then we just want to put these two together like so I hope you can see this um, and then I'm just going to tie in a knot do a surgeon's knot I, don't know I always do a surgeon's knot so that's why you're going it twice and then pull them up together oh, I always do this come on I used to do this when um, I beaded a lot. Always, always put my um, thread in knots. There we go. And then I do need the needle out, so that would be helpful. So let's open this up. <clears throat> and then, um, so it says begin sewing the top right hand cloud first. Use. Um, using seed stitch I don't even know what a seed stitch is thankfully it does tell us so let me just cut them so that they are joined together otherwise I won't get them both through the needle okay so there's them let's have a look what is a seed stitch so um, to create the seed stitch pattern bring the thread from the back to the front of your work and then down and back again around five mils away ah so let's start on the outside so just here and we have got a knot in so and then we want about five mils so ah so i want to say it's like hundreds and thousands <laughs> so and it's just going in like that so oh there we go there's our first stitch um Repeat this spacing out each seed stitch by five mil, one, five, between five mil and one seed centimeter by placing them in di different directions. Cool. So what I think I'm going to do is get my outline first and do it again. Do, we'll do it in different directions um, and then fill it in. So 
this is actually quite easy and I can see now why we have a embroidery hoop because it definitely definitely makes life so much easier a lot not let's just fill it in wherever we are so and this is just in our first cloud yes because by the looks of it we're doing um, for our second cloud um, we're going to be doing um, little X's oh that's quite cool so yeah quite fun so actually it's not as as bad as what I when I sort of start thinking oh can I do it but actually yes you can and this is really 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 simple I'm loving the fact again we have everything that we need the instructions are really easy for me to um to read as well um so I mean I am I am wanting to just do that and actually you can't just do that um yeah loving it absolutely loving it so I shouldn't really do that but yeah <laughs> um so I'm thinking that this is going to be really really fun to do so right I think um because I don't think you'll want to see me do the whole piece so I'm assuming when our thread runs out we literally just go in um we just take another two pieces out and yeah so um I think what I'm gonna do I wonder whether to do it on speed up the whole process on speed up and then come at the end and talk you through what I've done or what I don't know oh I don't know or whether just to speed up each section and come in um, for each bit I think should we do it each section so as I do each bit I'll I will put that on speed up with a little bit of music and then we'll go ahead and we'll do um yeah and then I'll come back um as we do each thing so I think that's what we'll do so this bit's going to go and speed up and then I'll be back for the next cloud
right okay so i'm back and um, we're on the second cloud so for the second cloud it says um create an arm's length of the pale blue thread and thread the needle with two strands knotting the other end so the same as what we did with the first one start to stitch the cloud using little crosses work in one direction to start with one direction to start with then work back along the line to complete the x ah right okay do not join the x's but leave a small gap between each one so then it says um work to the edge of the cloud but don't sew a solid line around it when working the x, -stitch x stitches, work from the outside into the middle in a spiral. Ah, right, I get you. Um, eat, uh, space each x evenly, horizontally and vertically. Fasten off threads on the back of the work. Move the hoop to cover the bottom cloud. So that's what we're going to do. So let's grab the pale thread and we want an arm's length of this as well so um that should do us and let's move that off to the side and then remembering to actually just take one thread this time because i did take two <laughs> oh, there we go hopefully that will be no see i'm trying to take two again just we just want the one so there's one um and there's the second one so there we go okay so I'm going to just pop that just over the side there let's get our needle threaded so I really do you know I really enjoyed doing that bit so I just was listening to some music um, while doing it and it was very very therapeutic so the, when I added the thread on though it just didn't seem to want to go but then I sorted that every now and again I think that happens doesn't it but considering I'm a complete beginner at this. Yeah, I definitely think it's something that I would, I would enjoy doing. And I, I suppose that's what the um, these kits are about, isn't it? It's trying new crafts and getting everything that you need to actually try the crafts and and then working out whether or not it's something that you would really enjoy doing. And the answer to it is yes. <laughs> so um, yeah, really, really. Oh, nearly. So, yeah, so definitely, definitely um, worth getting. Right, okay. So, we are to put a little knot in the end. So, let's put a knot in this end. So, do that again. Um, okay. And then we are to do little crosses. So, we've got to work from one way and then go from the other. So, I think I know what that means. So, we're sort of doing... A little line there but then I'm thinking should I do the first cross so that I know what I'm doing I don't even know if this is going to pick up on the camera because that is that's a bit small I think I think that might be a really really small cross but never mind so I'm assuming I go around like this all the way and then we come back and we finish the crosses off. That's what I'm thinking. So, so I'm just doing like little horizontal lines. Uh, well, diagonal lines, sorry. I'm trying to keep them um, spaced. Okay, like that. And then we then go back in and then we come around the other way. So I'll just finish these off just so that you can see what I'm doing. And this is what I'm sort of understanding from the instructions and then we would come in and finish our little crosses off like so I am thinking that maybe they are just a little bit too small um, do they need to be bigger? how big are theirs? oh no I think they're, I think they're fine so I think this very first one is definitely small. Now, I'm not sure how much this is going to come up on camera just because of how light this thread is. But there you go. There's my first three crosses. So I'm going to go and speed up now. Um, I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue doing um, all of them. So I'm going to go one way all the way around and then I'm going to go back and go the other way. So yeah, hope you enjoy.
okay so that bit is all done so let's have a look um i have had um a couple of hours break i must admit um we had so we had to have the vet come for the lady so um i finished that and the, um luckily when i'd finished that second bit the first um the vet turned up so um she's fine um but we just uh, we weren't sure whether or not she was getting her cyst back um so we got her just to double check for us because obviously i was a bit worried um because she's just not been herself so she's got some antibiotics of the weekend and yeah so it's easter weekend she said she's rather be let's be safe than sorry so she has got a short course of antibiotics over the weekend so yeah so i'm sort of i don't know where I, where i left off um but yeah um let's have a look right okay so we've done our crosses so there's the cross section done so now we need the dusky pink one um and we're going to be doing french knots um Oh, easy French knot. So, French knot. Sew from the back to the front. Hold the needle one centimeter away from the fabric, and cut uh, fabric and wrap the thread around the needle three to four times. Right. Never done a French knot, so this is going to be. Yeah, this is going to be quite fun. And there's loads and loads of thread left. I have to admit. Right. So we do need two pieces of these. I'm finding it easier if I just grab a piece from the centre and then take it out. Um, so I don't know. I think you meant to take it from each end. But that's how I found it to be easier. So yeah. Um, okay. And then this. I don't know if you need anything. But my daughter's upstairs and she's really, really singing and getting going for it. So I do apologise for that. Anyway, that's if you can hear it, because normally you can't. But I know that this part will be going on speed up as well. So, well, when we actually get to it, it will be. So what I'm going to do is, where do I put my needle? So this is where I lose everything. Um. So, yeah, so now, like I said, I mean, Lady's fine. It's just she's really, really going for her back end. And um, she has, like, she has, um, she has to have her anal glands done anyway. But she was just, she'd had them done a few weeks ago, but she was really, really going for it. And she just wouldn't sort of stop scratching. Oh, look, we've already got a knot in. Um, and she just wouldn't stop scratching. And the last time she did that, she ended up with her cyst. And as most of you know, I was so, so worried about her last time. So I just don't want her to get to that stage again. So, um, but we have a vet now come out to the house, which is absolutely fab. Um, and she's so lovely. Um, <laughs> lady knew as soon as um, she walked in though that what was going to happen. So she sort of hid behind the table, bless her. Um, but who can blame her? Oh, it was so cute. Um, but yeah, so um she sort of it, one side had half filled again um but the other side was empty but the, with the way that she's been sort of scratching and stuff um they gave us a course of antibiotics just to be on the safe side because if anything's to happen over she said well if anything happens over the um right we're gonna have to do this in two sections because the cloud's quite big so if anything happens over the easter weekend she didn't want us to have a huge vet bill which i don't get me wrong i don't want a huge vet bill but if that's what it comes to then it's what it comes to whatever's best for lady really i can't really afford a huge vet bill but um yeah i i, I care more about how my my doggies are than anything so so yeah right let's have a look um i'll stop talking about the doggies now so we're going to do a french knot so we're doing it all the way through so um so we are uh, to go in to uh, where our cloud is going to be um and i think i was meant to actually keep my oh i think i've done that wrong straight away oh luckily that came through so that knot's not big so i think you pull it through is it pull it through or pull it no right let me reread this because i'm looking at the pictures and the pictures are telling me something different so um yeah it would help if i actually just read it right, i'm trying to get a knot into this 
and I'm doing very very badly um, there we go much much better right so we're to come up through the back like so um so we saw from from back to front so like that then hold the needle one centimeter away from the fabric and wrap the thread around all right okay so then we're wrapping the thread like this around and then we're going is it back into that hole or uh, let's have a look and keep the wrap thread tight too still holding the thread very tightly and taut move the needle to the same space you came up so then we go back in so we go around it one two three to four times so oh oh this is terrible do you know what i'm thinking what might be easier that's just coming out so this is actually proven to be quite hard but i've just thought of a different way so well see if I don't know I'm saying I've just thought of a different way but I want those to be bigger right so let's come up so let's try this again so I'll do a few with you on camera because as you can see I am struggling so if you guys get this kit as well and you want to use my video then um, you'll need to do it so I'm assuming we go back in like so we hold our needle go around it one two three three or four times so i've gone around four times i oh, see this just seems and then we go back through there so that should and then pulling slowly through like so um we make a mess right well, that's not what we wanted was it oh dear so this has proven to be really really hard right i don't like that so yeah I don't know how to do these okay I'm just getting rid of that because I'm not happy with how that looks um so I think once you get once you do it um yeah I'm just trying to work out how I can do it so that it's like easier for me to to work it Right, I'm going to have to reread it. I mean, I'm going to keep all this in the video because, you know, it, you do need to see, like, I'm not going to show you, oh, they say to you, oh, this was really easy, go get it. Um, I'm not going to say, this is just, te these kits are teaching you new skills. So, you know, this is something I've never done before. So I think it's nice to see the struggles that I am sort of going through um, so that you can see that I've never done it before. But yeah, um, I'm not going to say that it's not fun because I have had fun with this. Um, I've enjoyed doing them ones. Um, not having fun at the minute because I'm trying to work out how to do this. Um, it, like I say, it does say there's a, um, a video available, but we can look at that if we really need to. So cutting up, we've done that. Use French knots or if you find them simpler, what we call easy French knots for French knots. So from the back to the front, um, hold the needle one centimeter away from the fabric and wrap the thread around the needle three to four times. So one, two, three, four times. Okay. Um, hold the needle taut with a uh, away from the fabric and keep the wrap thread tight too so right I, there must be an easier way to do this there has to be because I think I'm going to end up doing the same thing um, still holding the thread very tightly and taut move the needle to the same space so we need to keep this nice oh nice and tight so let's keep that tight Oh, all right like that so I've pulled that tight so that it is down there right that makes more sense um let's have a look um and then still holding the thread very tightly and taut move the needle to the same space you came up in slowly slowly saw saw back down pulling the needle from the underside with your hand on the reverse of your work keeping the thread pulled tight in your other hand as you do so maintaining tension so I've left that really really tight 
Oh, there we go, we did it. Oh, that was a fluke, <laughs> I think. Uh, keeping the, yeah. Uh, keeping the thread pulled tight on the other hand as you do so maintain tension until the length of the thread is fully pulled to the back Your French knot is formed. Yay! Oh, there's an easy one for the easy French knot So from the back to the front come back down two to three mil away Where you came up creating a small stitch so up the front of your work in the place you did last time oh so i think that's set so that might be an easy one <laughs> so go up so you go up through your work and then you go down through your work just a, creating a tiny stitch so let's do that so we're going to do that okay and then let's read the the next bit so this is supposed to be for an easy one then oh, that is not so around the small stitch just made from right to left keeping the needle let me stop that keeping the needle on the front of the work oh that just sounds harder doesn't it I don't like the sound of that one so I'm not going to do that one I think because we just learned how to do that first one let's see if we can do that first one so I've just pulled that back out so holding the needle we're going to go around our needle one two three four times keeping it tight so putting my other hand so, yeah and then we're going to go back down into where we came out of like so and then pulling that thread tight um, just like that so it's getting caught on bits um, we're then going to very slowly pull that through making sure we keep that thread nice and tight and I'm just making an absolute mess here there we go and nice and tight and ah oh, there we go I think I've got it so let's do it again shall we just to, to make sure um, so going up through our fabric like so holding our needle about a centimeter away we're going to wrap around three to four times so one two three four coming down then we're going to go down into the stitch where we came out from but before we pull it through if we pull that tight so our thread that's wrapped around there if we pull that tight there then pull that down through it really slowly like this she says really slowly and then goes really fast and then yeah tries to muck it up right like that that will create our little french knot how cool is that so now that i know roughly what i'm doing let's uh yeah so again i'm gonna hold so i'll do a couple more with you one two three wrap around four times and then i am bringing many i have to swap hands because i can't do everything with my left like that and then what i've found that is if you just grab hold of your piece of string not the not the bit in the end of your needle but this one if you pull it really tight and pin it down onto your fabric then pull this bit down through slow it creates that french knot lovely I am so chuffed with that and we didn't need a video that just goes to show how how well their um yeah how well their uh, instructions are because yeah I'm not very good at with instructions two three four and again I'm just gonna come back in there and then I'm gonna grab this bit and we're gonna pull that tight so that we know that it's not gonna go anywhere and then I'm going to pull that through. Oh, I'm so cool with that. Now, some of you might already know how to do a French knot and are probably thinking there's an easier way done. What are you doing? I am really proud with that. I am super, super proud of myself with this because, yeah, like I say, I've only, I, I've done like stitching like crosses and things like that. But this is this is really cool. I'm loving it. Yeah. Um, the, the easy knot one just sounded like it was going to be more complicated. <laughs> 
and yeah it probably isn't but you know um so but I'm finding the way that I'm doing this to be quite easy for me to do so yeah and oh, I like it I really really like it so I'm going to do all of these all the way across this bottom one so it goes all the way and there's a little bit over here once I've finished all of these we'll then come back and we'll be on the last part which is creating our moon and our leaves so so there they are there um so yeah so I'll put this bit up on speed up so I will keep it um the camera running this bit will be up on speed up so and then um I'll come back and we'll talk through what we're going to do here and then we'll do that but I am loving this <laughs> hope you're enjoying it too so yeah enjoy the next bit and I'll see you in a moment
Okay, so I'm back. Well, oh my goodness me. I don't know if you could tell, I got so stressed doing the um, the little French knots, honestly. Everything kept tying up. And then towards the end, I did figure it out. Um, the key to it is go slow. Honestly, it really is go slow, be patient because, um, yeah, if I pulled it too fast, it was sort of, oh, yeah. I think I saw it. I, I went to fling it at one point. <laughs> I don't know if um, it came across on the camera, but yeah. Um, but it, it turns out that it was because um, the last ones they weren't lovely. Um, these ones weren't working at the beginning because I was actually talking to my daughter at the time and I wasn't really paying any attention to what I was doing so the, the ones at the beginning that kept looking as though I, I, I wasn't doing that was because I wasn't really paying any attention so I would definitely pay attention while doing these um, so yeah it was just a bit um, yeah a bit of a nightmare really anyway let's read the next step but I was pleased at the end bit because um, they all worked fine um, on the last two sort of lots of um, thread that I put through. So I was quite happy. So I realised that as soon as like, you know, but this is the thing. I've never done this before. The, um, this is the first time I've, I've done French knots and yeah, I'm quite pleased with them actually. I think they've turned out quite, I mean, they're not all equal, but yeah, I th I, I'm quite pleased with them. So, and I did them myself. Anyway, let's have a look. So, um, using solid lines, tra oh, so we're to put the um, moon and everything on here. Well, I've already done that. I did that right at the beginning. Um, and I did it in solid lines. I've seen that. So it says replace the loop. So what are we doing first? Replace the loop of the top right of the design and use back stitch to stitch the foliage. Um, right i know back stitch that's one that i do not right i put this straight over the moon and it's not the moon that we're actually doing right now it is um it looks like it's the foliage up at the top so that i've got it just here so let's pop this on where it needs to be so we can do the foliage so about there um and this this bit should be really easy so we're doing our foliage bit so i think um we're going to be doing our back stitch um to create everything and then we're going to be doing like a filling if i am yeah if i'm sort of guessing <laughs> which i am uh, let's have a look so it tells you how to do a back stitch. So it says to create the back stitch stitch, use small two mil stitches, which is fine. Um, make one stitch coming up and back down two mil away. Um, but I remember this from school, so back stitch is definitely not a problem. So we're gonna go in like so. Um, and then you want to sort of go down into our bit so there's our first bit and then we're going to go up um, back through so there's a little gap and what we're doing is we're creating our line and then we're going to go through the first that little bit there I hope this makes sense I'm not very good at explaining stitching but yeah so back stitch is basically we're working backwards so you sort of go forward a few millimeters um and bring the stitching back over so when i go up i'm going up through the um yeah so that you can see there's a little gap so i'm coming up through the fabric and then we're going back down through that little gap there um and we're doing this for the whole of the foliage so, um, like I say, I already have it um, on. Well, just double check that I can still see it. Yeah, so there's one leaf and there's another leaf, which I don't know why I've, I haven't left it clear because I've kept the bottom one clear. So I don't know why I didn't keep this one clear. Oh, well, never mind. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to go, again, let's put this on um, fast forward. So, I'm going to do all of my outlines, um, which is what we are doing. Oh, there we go. I can see it. Um, so, I'm going to do all my outlines 
like this and then um, I'll come back and we'll read the instructions on what we are to do next which I'm assuming will be to fill in our leaves and um, to fill in the moon as well and um, we've also got some little stars and then I think once that's do done we have created our um, your tea towel. So this has taken me so far about three or four hours um, but do you know what I have enjoyed it apart from getting a little stressed with the French knots um, but like I said this is the first time I've done it um, so it's not I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was like a major problem it's just um, I just don't have the knowledge on how to do it um, so yeah it's just um, teaching and uh, you know the the instructions are actually really good in the fact that I can read them um, and they've helped me get to do the French knot so yeah I really like it I know that my friend um, you should be watching this who does embroider and should be shaking her head at me um, because yeah I should have really phoned her and said, how do you do this without getting stressed? <laughs> she would have told me. But yeah, um, so no, I think that this kit actually is really, really good because like I said, I have no idea on how to embroider anything. Um, I've done cross stitch, which is embroidery, but I've maybe done one or two of them. And yeah, um, they weren't the best. So, and that's as about as far as I've ever, uh, I've ever, I've ever done. So it's, so to sort of come and do um, a full embroidered piece is, yeah, it's quite good actually. I know I've done a little bit with my friend. She sort of gave me a bit of um, a needle and thread and we had a, I had a little go. She still got it actually. Um, and I did sort of a flower but I just don't have any knowledge of stitches I don't know how stitches are meant to go or anything like that so I really am um, a, a complete beginner in this and I think um, if you are a complete beginner in, in a lot of things these boxes I mean I've had two now and they're completely different so you're learning new skills um, I was I mean I was a complete beginner with the um, the clock one as well I had no idea how to to work with veneers but yeah the box that gave me um show, showed me what to do it had every all the information in there of what I needed um, and I think that's what you want from a box and if you're looking for something that's going to test you and something that um, you know that's going to give you these new skills and give you different sort of skills in um, crafting then this is definitely definitely a box for you because um, like I say I mean I'm a complete beginner and the fact that I've not done this before or followed patterns or instructions or anything like that and it's coming out beautifully um, you know has got to say something for the kit so yeah so like I say let's go on speed up um, I mean this is coming together really really quickly it's oh, absolutely lovely I think I'll do my um, crosses as I go so there was little crosses dotted around so I think I'll do them as we go and um, as I get to them because yeah why not and then um, yeah so I'm just sorry, I'm just looking for my um, yeah for the the little point where the well the uh, my pencil marks are um, but yeah I just oh, I think it's really really cool and you know when you finished I mean these would make lovely presents but it gives you skills where you could go and get um, I mean you've, you're definitely getting enough thread so there's nothing to stop you going out and buying yourself some more tea towels making a few of them uh, you know you're going to get better as you go and you know there's a couple of presents for people um, either Christmas, birthdays, I just think how lovely is that so I mean this craft box is really giving you the skills that you need um, to or, or well, giving you beginner skills um, and showing you how to do embroidery I'm loving it I must admit I, I didn't love the French knots I'd be, li I'd be lying if I said I loved the French knots I didn't but um, am I chuffed that I've done them? Yeah. Am I chuffed that I actually managed to do them? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, it's, it's another skill. It's something else that I've learned. And, you know, um, it's, yeah, 
I'm, I really am enjoying it. So, yeah, thank you so much, Crafticity, for, well, thank you, Hazel, for um, asking if I would like to review this box for you. So, um, like I said, these are, um, the opinions are my own. I haven't been paid to say that this box is good or anything like that. Um, I've just been asked to review the box and give you guys my um, honest review. And um, like I say, I've loved it up until the French, <laughs> the French knot part, got really stressed with it. Um, and I am taking you guys with me um, in doing the whole process of this, um, you know, this uh, box. Um, but I am really find it relaxing. So when I put it on um, the speed up, I'm actually listening to music and I'm having a lovely time. So, yeah, really nice. And I'm actually getting time to spend with myself. So it's all good. It sounds terrible that it's time with myself. I mean, my, my children, you know. Kate, bless her, is home. Um, but it is also, yeah, it's just so nice to sort of be able to, um, you know, come into my own little space and do a little something just for me. But I'm got to say, I'm very, very proud of this. Really proud. Can't believe how well it's come out. I mean, how quick is this leaf coming together? So yeah. Right, okay, I'm going to stop waffling. <laughs> um, I'll put this on speed up um, and we'll come back um, when we come to fill it in. So we'll um, we'll have a look at the instructions on how to fill it in and then we'll get them filled in. And then we are done and we have learned a new skill and got and made ourselves an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous uh, tea towel. How cool is that? I love it. Absolutely love it. I know if I gave my mum one of these, she would probably put it on the wall. She'd frame it and put it on the wall. She refuses to use anything that I make her because she's so proud of it. She she doesn't want to... Um, I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, yeah, she doesn't want to, um, <laughs> to, to use it or spoil it. She wants it to stay as it is, which I think is just lovely. But yeah, this would definitely make a lovely present. And you actually, do you know what would be really nice? You could even do, use these skills to create, you know, shopping bags as gift bags. Yeah, definitely. Right, okay. Gonna go and speed up, and yeah, I will see you when all of my outlines are done.
Okay, so I'm all finished. Oh, my camera's really wobbling there. I do apologize for that. Keep your fingers crossed that little lady doesn't start giving me attitude. She's gone. She's been giving me attitude for the last 10 minutes because she has an attitude problem. Okay, so I have finished. How awesome does this look? Do you know what? I'm really proud of myself actually for this. I think it looks fantastic. Um, oh, I'm to tell you as well, it was not husband who made me the coffee today. It was my daughter Kate. So she she made sure that um she made sure to tell me that I that's what I had to tell you guys that it wasn't husband, it was um it was her that made me my coffee today. So yeah, um, but no, I, you know, I've had so much fun. So I would t say that this takes a day. Um, so I've spent, well, I've actually spent all afternoon. So um, I've spent from about two o'clock. Um, I've had about a two hour break and it is just after nine now. But I've had loads of fun doing this. And you know, as much as the French knot did annoy the life out of me because I just couldn't get it right. I mean, I got it right in the end. And I, I love how the, this sort of area looks. It was something that I've never done before and you know perseverance really does help absolutely helps no end so I love it I think that it's good and you know I like I said I was saying before um I'm gonna get some um interface to go on here so some fusible interface so it's, it's just like um a piece of material which you can iron onto fabric that makes it more sturdy but i'm just going to put it on just to hide all of my because i mean i'm a very messy as you can see very very messy um embroid like embroiderer um i think that's the right word um but i am so proud of that how gorgeous is this and you know it's given me ideas of what to make people for christmas or um aunts and uncles and things um i think i'm going to do some embroidery for them this is really being fun and um i mean we've done basic stitches but apart from this the french knot is not a basic stitch even if they say it's a basic it's not a basic stitch it is super hard but persevere with it so if you get this kit do persevere with it because oh absolutely gorgeous i love how it looks i love everything i love the texture i love the feel of it. it is just beautiful and i've still got i mean we've still got the pattern and i would say i've definitely still got enough thread there to do another um a tea towel of the same design if i wanted to or you could change the colors up i mean how cool is that definitely definitely yeah worth getting i would say I, I mean i've had so much fun with this um the fact that the um oh the instructions i've managed to read the instructions and i've managed to work out how to do this without any videos because i did that last time because i wanted to see how good the instructions were um i know that when i look through magazines and i try to read their instructions it's just not going to happen i've tried i failed there's a couple of videos on my channel doing it i gave up because i just couldn't work them out they were really really hard but this this has proved to be really easy to follow um i've had to keep going over them um for it to sort of sink in but yeah look what we've produced how cool is that so don't forget if you are going to subscribe to them um if you want to learn different skills each month definitely definitely recommend it um and it is um i do have a voucher code so your first box you're going to get that 20 percent off um i think it's 25 pounds per box if i remember rightly i'm not 100 percent sure but i will leave everything in the description box below so the link to um to craft off city will be there as well as the coupon code so that um you have that as well but i love i absolutely i love the feel of it. it feels so good it does feels amazing so i thank you so much craft off city for sponsoring this video um Honestly, I've had it so much fun. As much as we got a little bit frustrated with this, the rest of it I've had a lot of fun with. Um, I've learned some new skills, um, which is what these boxes are about. But how fun is that? That is super, super cool. So yeah, definitely, definitely something to look at. Um, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and seeing my process of creating this from um, right from the beginning. Um, all the way to the end to producing our tea towel because you know 
fascinating if you're going to do a review of a box it's nice for you to actually see that person creating the whole of it um not just little bits so seeing my struggles so you'll see i mean like i said the only struggles that i've had with this is the french knot got me ugh, yeah just annoying but i am proud of myself I did it. I got through it. I didn't give up. And I'm so glad that I didn't give up because that's lovely. I have just noticed that there's a gap there which probably will get on my nerves. So I might go back in and fill that in. But yeah, that is it. Um, thank you again ever so much for um, yeah spending your time with me and watching this video. I do hope that, like I say, you enjoyed it. Don't forget, do take advantage of this. Thank you again, Hazel and Craftosity for sponsoring this video and for giving me the opportunity to learn some new skills but until next time everybody please do stay safe and happy crafting bye